team here on the ground confirming that the uh, Progress 53 has undocked. You can see it here moving away from the space station. Space station getting smaller in this view coming from the Progress. Uh, undocked confir uh, confirmed at 8.29 a.m. Central Time, while the uh, station and Progress were about 228 miles above Mongolia. Again, Progress 53 now making its way slowly away from the space station after undocking at 8.29 a.m. Central Time. The springs that propel the progress away from the space station after its hooks are opened move it away at about uh, 0.12 meters per second, which is about a fourth of a mile per hour. It's currently moving slowly away from the space station, as you can see here. And in uh, about a minute and 13 seconds, we'll perform its first separation burn that will speed up that departure a little bit. Uh, at that point, it will begin moving away at a mile and a half per hour following a 15 second thruster firing. Its departure from the station's Zvezda module clears that docking port up for the arrival in August of the fifth automated transfer vehicle from the European Space Agency. That'll be launching from Kourou, French Guiana on an Ariane 5 rocket in late July. About 20 seconds now until that first separation burn. The team here reporting that that separation burn's underway. You can see the speed increasing a bit as the progress moves away from the space station. Team here on the ground reporting that the separation burn was complete and everything looking nominal so far as the progress continues to move away from the space station. It's scheduled to reach the six kilometer point at 9.16 a.m. Central. At that time it'll be about 3.7 miles away from the space station. And it'll continue increasing its distance uh, until its uh, deorbit burn begins at 11.34 a.m. Central Time. Moscow Station, Space to Ground 1. Go ahead on Space to Ground 1. Uh, Nikolai, the code Nikolai, the docking interface is clear of any FOD. Looks very good. And uh, I'm going to put the pictures in the folder named after the number of the radio group. I actually uh, don't think they require downloading on OCA4 downlink. Um, if you check the radiogram step number four, uh, you need to re save them onto hard drive, and then you will be returning those with your hard drive. Actually, I do see it um, on OCA, so it's 
It has to go on both OCA and the hard drive. And with that, are you ready to copy the uh, EGVU data? Actually, let me go to the central post and I'll call you back. Okay. Um, Nikolai, go ahead with the information. Okay, so these are EGVUs that used to be uh, used for water. So there are two of them. You can use them in any sequence you'd like. So lid number 1080, bucket 649. And the second lid number is 1090. And bucket number 678. They're stowed um, behind panel 401 in the FGB. I think you meant 404, panel 404. Progress 53 just visible here at the top of the screen. Coming into view uh, following its undocking. Again, that took place at 8.29 a.m. Central Time. And it's been making its way away from the space station since then. We completed its uh, first separation burn at 8.32. And uh, teams here on the ground confirmed that everything looks good with that separation burn. So it should be getting on track now for uh, its uh, eventual deorbit burn, which will drop it back into the Earth's atmosphere, allow it to burn up along with the trash the space station is sending away. So 10.87 and 10.90. Okay, I copy. 1087 and 1090. Good read back. And 1146 has been filled from the tank. Right, for EGVRP. I copied that. And uh, you replaced it at 1146? No, I filled it at 1146. So prepared at 10, 1146. Yes, that's right. Okay. Progress 53 now visible here clearly in the center of the screen as the uh, progress in station orbit about 260 miles above the North Pacific Ocean, having just crossed over the coast of Russia and uh, just about now into the dark part of this orbit around the Earth. Another view here from cameras on the exterior of the space station that uh, just showed the, a bit of the uh, progress in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, just visible. And the horizon then view in the background as the uh, station moves into darkness.